Hi there, buenos dias and welcome to my YouTube channel Benidorm and Beyond. Today I'm taking you for a walk along Avenida del Mediterraneo, which is a very long avenue that runs just one street back from the Levante beach and is packed full of shops, bars, restaurants and even the odd hotel. At over one and a half kilometers long in total, today we are going to stroll along a good section of it, so let's get started. We begin at the corner junction with Avenida de Cuenca, where we firstly see the Med 23 pub, which is currently having a bit of a spruce up. Well known for its bucket deals, which start at 10 euros, it also offers litre and a half pitches of cocktails from 12 euros 50, and is a great place to sit and watch the world go by. Next along, we see the sports souvenir shop, who sell a variety of fashion items, sportswear and small gifts. And adjacent, after an ATM, is the open wash self-service laundrette, who also incorporate the Euro Pound money exchange office inside. Abutting this is a shop selling small electronic items such as hair tongs, speakers and headphones. And next door is a sunglasses and mobile phone accessory store of Case World. Moving on, we then pass the silver gated entrance to apartment block Edificio El Circo, followed by the maroon gates of one of the entrances to Edificio La Oca. Continuing along, we then reach the large premises of Multiprecio Asia 3, who sell a huge selection of anything and everything. This ranges from clothes to ornaments to household articles and more, and their shop goes surprisingly far back, so it's definitely worth a look if you have some time to spare. Next door is the Som Moda y Complemento store, who offer mainly sports tops and hoodies. And bordering this is the double unit of Alhambra Confecciones, who are essentially a Chinese shop selling mostly clothing, with a few toys and souvenirs thrown in for good measure too. Moving on, we then pass an untitled locale, specialising in lingerie and nightwear, along with a few socks, tops and ankle chains. And then we see the Phoenix jewellery shop with their rows of necklaces, pendants and keyrings, as well as gold chains sold by the meter. We then walk by the second entrance to apartment block Edificio La Oca, as well as an alleyway that acts as a shortcut to the neighbouring Quai Girona or the Strip. If you choose to use this path, you'll come out on an upper level where you can find the Shamrock Irish Pub and the Dublin House, both of which are almost directly opposite the Four Star Hotel Marina. Carrying along and passing the grounds to residential building Edificio El Junco, we now reach Avenida de Mallorca, which is of course better known as The Square. Crossing this, on the next corner we see the Silver City Sports Bar, which when open not only shows all the live sports matches, but also has bucket deals and a good menu of cocktails. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Next door we see the Fantasia's costume jewellery and accessories shop packed to the brim of mostly necklaces and handbags. Continuing on we pass a shop selling sportswear and electronic items which is surely a bit of a mishmash of a concept but hey ho, this is Benidorm. And then the Pharmathia Tramoyeras Chemists, which used to be the go-to 24-hour branch, but is no longer. If you need to find a chemist that is open all day and night, then you now need to go halfway up the Avenida Europa and look for Pharmathia Europa on the right-hand side at the junction with Kei Ibiza. Passing an empty unit and then the entrance gates to Edificio Ocean 1, we now see the Esther 3 clothing store. Currently selling jackets, jumpers, jeans and t-shirts with comic book characters on them, it also has a selection of swimming costumes and other beachwear available in the summertime. Next along we walk by the ramp access to an underground car park and then we see the currently closed grill house bar and steakhouse and their good sized outside terrace. Reopening on February the 1st, they specialise in Tex-Mex style food and can also organise cocktail parties and the like for hen parties or indeed any group at their rooftop venue. Moving 
on, we see the Chinese shop of Romero Clothing and Souvenirs selling all the usual multicoloured bits and bobs as they do. Next door is the official National Lottery Shop and then bringing us to the corner is the cheap fashion clothing store Benny Compra and also an Omfe Lottery kiosk whose ticket sales go towards helping those less fortunate. We now cross Avenida de Filipinas which leads to many top hotels including the Presidente, the Venus and one of Benidorm's newest offerings the Four Star Superior Hotel Gold Arcos. Now on the other side, immediately in front of us, we see the red and yellow off-license of Bodega El Baril, or the wine barrel. Trading since 1981, inside you can find a massive assortment of wines, spirits and speciality liqueurs, along with a currency exchange service. Moving on, we pass an ATM and then the entrance to a Chinese massage parlour, where you can get a foot massage from 28 euros or a manicure for 25. Next door is the Montiel Calfaro's shoe shop who sell many top brands as well as handbags and who currently have their January sales advertised. As we pass some silver gates, for information, this is where you can find the offices of Jet2 Holidays, along with a beauty salon and international tourism company MTS Globe. And then, moving on, we see the four-star Hotel Don Pancho and its attractive landscape grounds. Currently ranked an impressive third out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK, it has a guest rating of 4.5 out of 5, putting it in the excellent category. I uploaded a full information vlog on this lovely hotel in summer 2022 with footage filmed inside and out, and you can find this easily on YouTube by simply searching Benidorm and Beyond Don Pancho. Now passing the boutique shops underneath the hotel, we see Avenida de Almeria in front of us which we cross, and this is where we end today's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed this informative stroll along a part of the long Mediterranean avenue with me, and if you have, please join me again in the future for more street and beach walks, as well as checking out some of my other videos which are full of useful information, news and updates, as well as reviews on local hotels, cafes and bars. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you out and about on Benidorm streets next time. Bye for now, take care, and hasta luego.